Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Factorio here. So what's going on? What's going on? What are we going to do today? Well, today I think we're going to work on building these gun turrets. And then we're going to work on building probably some new ammo. So, to do the gun turrets, we obviously need copper, iron, and iron gears. So, we have copper, iron, iron gears. So, that means we'll probably do it on this side here. That's what we'll do. So, hmm. So, what do we need to make those things? And then that's what we'll do. So, we need more iron plates. So, the iron gears and copper plates we can combine. We can combine. And so to do that, we usually give enough space. If you notice, there's like, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So, so if I do, was it one, two, three, four, five, six? So like this, about here. These would be the turrets. Where are they? Oh, I cannot build turrets in here. Ah, I need bigger. I need to. We need to finish the research. I guess that's the the thing holding us back. So that means these are probably producing as fast as possible. So we're gonna have to replace those. <laughs> hmm. Well, we got some biters. Oh, they're spawning everywhere now. That's not. It's very concerning. So let's build these by hand. One, two, three. Let's grab some more iron. Snap. Okay. Then we need to build a bunch of this ammo. I might just... I could fit the ammo thing like right in here and just take it right off the belt. So for example, we can do that. And then we can have a box. Like that maybe. Maybe put this... Um, I don't know. How do we want to put it? One here and one here? Maybe? Something like that? Light over here. Let's make ten lights. We need more iron. <laughs> Never ending. We always need more iron. I guess I should be taking it from here instead. <laughs> and so these are going to make bullets. And we're just going to take them from here. And then we're going to put them five more copper. Okay. And let's see, how many are we making? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how many things we're making here. So many different things. We definitely need to automate a lot of this stuff. I also need more... I do have woods, 5, 10. Just keeps adding to the queue. Oh boy, folks. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? How's these? These are doing okay. I think now we're utilizing two of them. Yeah, so we're utilizing two now. As it gets to full power. So that means we can still do the full 10. Ah, there we go. I think we need to do this one. Automation 2, maybe. Maybe. Um, how do we upgrade the crafters? Because there is a way of doing it. Circuit network, gun turret damage, shotgun shell, sh sh shooting speed. Oh, here we go, right here. Assembly machine 2. So we need to, to complete automation 2. So we needed to get that microchip anyways. So as soon as we finish automation 2, then we should be able to advance forward. I think that's the the issue. So now it's basically just these things being crafted, which almost feels like that we should maybe do another kind of two machines, kind of like this in the same pattern. And we bring this stuff up, upwards like that like that more of these belts here more iron so 
Oh boy. Oh boy, folks. Oh, and we need another thingy here. We need one of these. So that way we can start filling this up with ammo. We'll, we'll only worry about two stacks of ammo for now. So I want to start kind of messing around with... Let's see, do we have pollution? Let's take a look at the pollution here. Ah! I think we're alright. Once our pollution starts to dip into there, then we'll we'll worry about killing them off. Um, and once we need the resources, then we'll worry about killing them off as well. So, so we'll just make sure we maintain control of our area here and go from there. There's turret coverage you can add. There's electric network. Ooh, nice. Logistics. So it's cool to, to have all these different you know, options. Train stop names. Player names. Cool, we can even hide our, the player names. That's cool. That's very cool. So this is now consuming a lot of the resources. But that's fine because this will only craft until this. So this is a priority. And yeah, okay. Okay. So let's carry on. So we're going to be making some more red capsules here. So we essentially need to replicate the same pattern like that. All right. And then we need to add in the, the copper. And then we need to place them on a belt of some sorts. Like that. Okay. And then now what? Let's make sure we bring these up and across same with that I think this will continue upwards so will this okay what else what else do we need to do um, so we need to bring these up we need to split them we need more materials. What do I need for splitters? Looks like... Oh, okay, I see. Looks like copper and iron. Do I even have belts? I should grab a stack of belts. That'd be right here. Let's do that. Grab a couple hundred. Uh, what's this missing? This is missing iron plates. It's because we have this thing taking it all. Because of the ammo that we want to supply our turrets with. So we might have to turn this into a slow one. So that way we can let a lot of these through. And if we need more iron, we can always grab it from here. Right? Same with this stuff, we can grab it from there. And it will and it will replenish itself down here. What we do we have? Well, as long as these are all producing it doesn't matter but it looks like the iron is uh, struggling to keep up we might have to add two more of those miners I don't know uh, let's see what else what's happening here we have stone happening here this is going up into here into our walls right so now if we're gonna build walls maybe we'll start small so what I was thinking for walls is kind of like this um, how I was gonna think kind of like this I was gonna bring them up this way and depending on how high we went I was gonna chop trees down probably so that way we would have space for the wall here and then I was just gonna kind of put a big box around our place but I think I want to put the wall all the way up so what I mean by that is I want to have 10 steam engines going in a row here. So with that in mind, still need more of these, okay. With that in mind, we'll have to keep going up until we pass this whole clearing area here, right? So we'll bring the wall up to here and then we'll bring it across this way. So uh, let's see here. So that is complete. Still need to chop trees like crazy.
Perfect. Okay, so let's see now. Let's see how this will look. We want to bring the wall up this way and then bring it across, right? So I think we chop this tree down and we bring it across. I think we still have some trees in the way here. And these ones are all in the way because I brought up just a tad higher, I think. But that's because I want space around everything. So let's see, can we make doorways? I don't think we can. Oh, look, there's more stuff now. Uh, no, I don't think I can make doorways, just the walls. Make some more lights. Oh, I do have lights. Okay. Uh, with some more walls here. So we were going to place the walls all the way around. I was going to go around the deposits here as well they are kind of mine and then I was gonna bring the wall down this way somewhere and then I was just gonna kind of turn it and bring it back this way to the water just kind of encompassing the small area here so that way we have some protection and then I was gonna place these turrets down let's see if they change the look of the turrets no the, the look of the turrets are still the same cool 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 let's see how is this all looking now it's like this is functioning as expected, which is nice. The ammo is still being produced. Oh, wow. Looks like ammo goes over 100. Wow. That's cool. We'll take that ammo because we need it. Uh, yeah, so now it, it, it produces a lot slower, but at least all this stuff is getting resources, and that's the important part because of the research of automation too once we get that then we can replace these and i think that will allow us to build the green modules which then we can pipe onto this belt as well somehow maybe we'll create a separate area for research up in the corner up in here somewhere or something for the red and the green i'm not too sure i want to add more power because <laughs> we do need more power so let's see let's make a steam engine right now Shabam. Okay. Now, I'm just going to think a minute here, so just give me a moment here while I think. Did you like that silence? <laughs> yeah, I muted the mic. Just had to do whatever. Uh, let's see here. So we do have the one, one of these... I think this will be the last one. And then we got to put the other one up here. Just thinking out loud. Let's see. Let's grab some more plates maybe. We'll do that. Build to a couple more steam engines maybe. Because so I kind of want to see how I want to connect them. Then we need to build one of those. Yeah, because I just want to see how they... So now, since that one's done, I think that would be the next one. So if I... Should actually maybe... No, i got to do it there. And then this has to be that underground belt. Or belt. Has to be the underground pipe so we can run through here. Right? And now they're all kind of functioning. Which is amazing. So that means this is able to keep at a rate of 100 to temperature at 165. The temperature doesn't decrease all the way up to here either. So that is awesome. It's all working out quite nicely actually. And I, and I imagine you can probably take the steam, store it, and then utilize it. Maybe create an array with a storage tank. But we obviously don't have the storage tanks yet, so but that could be a thing, right? This is so cool. Okay, yeah, this is the kind of the, the stage of the game where things start to slow down based on your resources. So now we've hit the resource block again. So we kind of had a power issue, but we dealt with that. Now we have the resource issue because of the the research packs here that need to get made, and this does not have power. I've noticed because we're not done. You know, working on it <laughs> let's finish it so let's do that uh, we got some more belts here how is, is the wall production happening 
very, very slowly. So maybe we'll limit the wall production to to this to 200. Uh, did I put in? Looks like we can put in some stone again here. Let's put some more stone in this one as well. So let's try and get rid of the stone slowly. Can we throw stone into here so we can dispense it? Ah, no, you can't. Okay. That's cool. I just wanted to double check if we, if we could. This iron here doesn't look like it's making to the end. So let's go up here and actually add in a couple more miners. Looks like we have a minor issue. A <laughs> minor issue. It's funny. Uh, let's do that. And let's add some more belts here. Let's actually add the belts all the way up. So we know we're going to have to put them up there at some point. We know we're going to put another miner there. And then we want this pole to be on this side. Maybe. Maybe we'll put it to the one side always. Uh, I don't know, like that. And then let's pop in a light up here somewhere. Perfect. We have another miner. No, we can build another miner. Because we're going to need to put another one. So that's an extra one. So that should add extra iron here, which means that this one should be able to function. How much iron do we have? Let's grab the iron. Oh, poor iron. Well, that's okay. I have a funny feeling that these two aren't really producing. Well, no, it's all producing. But it is consuming it at a relatively quick pace. How many do we have? Is 5.7, 7.4? Yeah, the, this deposit will last us for quite a while, I imagine. It's just because. So let's go lay some more... Oh yeah, we were finishing this. Man, it's like like a squirrel. Okay, so that is good. And so now how do I want to get this belt up there? So maybe like this. Maybe we'll maintain it on, this, on the one side. Let's see here. Go this way. This way. gonna put it on the outside what happens if we do this like that so it's, it will continue to put it on the one side so that should work so let's hook this up we want power where here we want I don't know here and here it doesn't matter how many wires we have, as long as all this functions as expected, and looks like it is. So now we've just doubled the production of of red science packs. Looks like we don't need the the red ones or the, the blue ones here either. So let's create some more yellow inserters. Man, we definitely need to have production. Let's take a look at the the achievements here. I haven't really looked. And we're about what? We're about 20 minutes in. So let's check it out here. I did all these building locomotives. These are all basic ones uh, that you can easily do. Yeah, you can easily do all of these. Golem. I'm, I'm surprised I collected this one. I'm surprised these even existed. So that's what's funny about it. Uh, let's see here. Th this one's fun. Pyromaniac. And destroy 100 trees by impact. This one was fun to figure out. <laughs> I'll have you guys ask me if you want me to tell you how you how I did it. But now this one we need to alter so that way we make more by robots, or yeah, we construct more by robots than by hand. So we're gonna have to slow down what we do and change it over to produce to mass producing it. We have these things to achieve still. Um, I don't want to build solar, so maybe we'll. Just, We'll stay out of the solar, do all steam and nuclear power. We won't do any logistics, so we'll earn these two. And then we still have these two we can try and go for. 
uh, build locomotives and these two we can't get so we're gonna have to try this the next time lazy bastard perk but that's fine and dandy so I did, I've done what 68 percent of the, the thing with boobers <laughs> the achievements so that's pretty cool so yeah so this should hopefully function and operate as expected so far it is so far it looks like we don't have very much gear production because gear production relies on iron which means that all of these have to smelt iron which means that we need another miner here a sixth one so now again we're at the point where hmm, how do we pump more resources into this it means we're gonna have to probably redo all this area down here we might have to extend it downwards to add in more but we can't really put too much more. We could probably put four more here, and then we might put two more. So we might redo all of this. That actually sounds like a pretty good idea to redo. We do have some walls. How many walls were produced now? <laughs> Man, it seems like it's not really producing much. It's because we only have two of these bad boys. This is all cramped in here. We could move all this kind of up in here we have enough room to bring this upwards and then bring the coal up and then you, know, br you have your array and then smelt it and stuff we could do that could do that this stuff though the gears yeah we should be all right with the gears I can't see us not being able to yeah I don't know I can't see us not you know being able to just need these ones. These regular ones I have the the fast ones because when we have the product it's not a big deal but these ones up here that you know they produce everything so long that it doesn't matter let's do that and that okay perfect so okay okay so yeah so we were gonna do the turret construction and we were going to do um, what's where we're gonna do we're gonna do the green science packs so we need the we need the inserters, which means that inserters need three things to build. I think these ones can only do two items. Uh, yeah, craft items require up to two ingredients. So we need the third, which is going to be very, very, very shortly. So while we wait for that, let's do this. Let's do the wall. So I'll carry on the wall this way. Not sure far we want to be to the right of this right so probably around here probably where this tree is we'll chop it down we'll go up like this okay so that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna bring this downwards and then now we're gonna have to chop trees so I tell you what I'm gonna actually finish it here I'm gonna continue chopping these so basically at the start of the next episode what you're going to see is you're going to see you know all of this chopped up because i might as well save you from that you know what it looks like you know and the research it might complete and if it does i will not touch it but we'll see we'll see because we have a few minutes left right i'm just kind of checking here yeah yeah we have five whole minutes so that's a lot of minutes let's see if we can chop these trees down in that time frame boy you know I wish there's more the or, or the music happened more often because it just doesn't seem to happen often enough I like to you to hear the music a lot there's there's fortress craft that I play once in a while that has music that plays pretty much all the time so that might be a bit excessive but it is nice because it's 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 music right Shabam! There we go, guys. Perfect. So, what's the next one? Maybe we'll do steel processing. So, that unlocks steel, which unlocks the better axe. And then we can do the bullet damage after. So, we're still kind of stuck in the red zone. And then, once we can produce the green, then maybe we'll redesign everything a little bit. Is everything other than the bullet damage or the shotgun 
your shooting speed. All these are red still. So let's do let's do steel processing because that'll be the next biggest thing. Yeah, so this is good. I like the progression of this. The marathon mode doesn't seem too bad yet. I am noticing that it is taking a few more items to make stuff, but I don't know. Oh yeah, now we have this stuff. See, now we have these blue ones. And these blue ones are going to be a big, are going to make a big difference. So we can essentially replace all these with those blue ones, but we need iron. And to have iron, to take those. And how much do we have here? We have 194, 200 fits into a stack. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So this will be producing stuff for quite a while. Oh boy. Which means that will be low on the iron. Oh man, oh man. So we're going to have to expand this for sure. This is our next kind of roadblock is the, the input. So I'm going to tear this all up down here. And yeah, and we're going to move all this downwards. So I'm not sure how we're going to achieve that. But I might as well just say thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.